welcome back to Baking with V. I am so excited to do some more baking with you. Did you have fun last time? I hope so. And if this is your first time, this is a good time to join me because we are making something so delicious. It is full of yummy chocolatey things, so I know that lots of you will enjoy it. Do you want to do a big yum with me? Yummy! <laughs> now, let's have a quick look at what we need. There is quite a bit of chocolate in there, so it's not the best thing to eat lots and lots of. But a little bit now and then is okay, isn't it? Yes. Let's see what we need. Okay, so with your Mars bars, you chop these up into little bits. Let me show you how. I just do a few little slices this way and then I go back and I chop them in half so they're in just like little cubes. Um, obviously if you are younger please don't use a really sharp knife because you might cut your fingers. So either ask a grown-up to do it or you can try it with a smaller knife just like one of your knives that you would cut your dinners with and it will also cut through. It's a little bit trickier but it can still be done and cut into halves. And you keep going until you've cut them all up. Okay, so once they're all chopped up, they can be put to one side. The other thing I've prepared is biscuits. I've got some chocolate digestives, and all I've done is broken those into little pieces using my hands. So break off a little bit and then into smaller pieces. You don't want them too big because then it will dry it out a bit. So lots of snap, snap, snaps and into smaller pieces. So you've got lots of biscuit crumbs, okay? And then all the rest of the stuff is just there. The main thing, ooh, evo, is all this chocolate. So it is a lot of chocolate, but it's gonna be so good. So I've just got lots of chocolate bars and broken each part into the little sections. The smaller the chunks are that you've broken them into, the easier it will be to melt them in a minute, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is melt this chocolate. Now, you can do it in the microwave on little short bursts if you want to, but I find it melts a lot better if I do it over the hob. So, if you get yourself um, a pan and you just put a little bit of water in there, and then that's just going to fit on top. So, you need a pan that's big enough for your bowl that's got the chocolate in. This obviously needs to be heat proof. Don't put it in a plastic thing on here. <laughs> Make sure it's a glass one or something. And that just needs to go on top. And then the water will heat up and as it heats up, it will heat the chocolate and melt it into a lovely gooey mess. Um, you don't want the bottom of this to touch the water. Obviously mine is very high up off the top there, but sometimes um, if your bowl is the same sort of size, it'll sink right to the bottom. But don't let the bottom of that touch the water because then it'll make your chocolate go all funny. Okay, so let's put a little bit of water in there and get it on the hob. So I've put like a centimeter, centimeter and a half of water in there. I'll get the hob on and the chocolate is just going to sit on top. Now try not to touch that too much because it will burn your fingers. Do keep an eye on it, don't forget about it, otherwise your chocolate will be ruined. Now in another bowl all you've got to do is add the rest of the ingredients really. So we've got our Maltesers going in, we've got our biscuit crumbs going in, we've got some cornflakes going in. But remember, any of this stuff, if you don't like it, use something else instead. We've got some marshmallows. Um, use mini marshmallows. If you've got the bigger ones, chop them up a little bit. Otherwise, you'll have big bits of marshmallow that won't be very nice in there. Needs to be lots of small bits of everything. Uh, we've got some raisins, just to make us feel better about the fact we're eating so much chocolate. <laughs> and our Mars bars. Tap, tap, tap. In they go. They're a bit sticky, those ones are there. And the last thing I'm adding are some chocolate chips. So I'll just open the pack and in they go. Oh, is that a lot of chocolate? It certainly is, isn't it? And we're just going to give it a little mix around so all the yummy bits are all mixed in nicely. And guess what's next? We've just got to wait for that to melt so we can add it into here. 
Easy as that. Let's go and have a look how it's getting on. I'm going to take my spoon to give it a little mix. see now that it's starting to melt really well just be careful of all the steam coming out the side there because it's really really hot does that look good enough to eat yet <laughs> it looks lovely if you are helping your grown-up do this bit make sure that you're being really careful to keep your arms and hands away from anything that's really hot Get your grown-up to hold the bowl, bowl still and you just give it a little mix. Mm. So, we're nearly there. We've got a few more lumps that need to melt. But most of it has melted already. Right, so there we go. I think this is ready to so add to our other mixture. Okay, so when you think your chocolate is all mixed and melted together, take it off the hob. So turn your hob off and take it off. And if you can see it from there, but whoa, that looks so good. Now I'm gonna leave it just for a second to cool because if you try and pick that up and pour it in, it's really hot chocolate, it'll be really hard to pour it in. So just leave it for a few minutes to cool, not too long because then it'll start hardening and it'll be hard to mix it later, but just leave it for a few minutes. So while we're waiting, we need to prepare our tin. Now all you need is some greaseproof paper just to make it easier to take it out. And my trick is to have two tins the same. So I've got two identical tins. I get my greaseproof paper, so it's just a bit bigger than my actual tin. And then I just push this one into that one. And then it puts your greaseproof paper in the right place and fits it all into the corners. So when you take it out, it's all covered. Easy peasy. Rather than you trying to shove it in with your hands. So you just put one on top of the other and press it in. And then just round the edge, you scrunch any bits of leftover um, greaseproof paper and then that will keep it in place. So now that's ready. If you need more than one tin, because if yours is a bit smaller or if you find they've got lots more mixture, just line another one in the same way. Okay? So let's get back to our mixture. So all we need to do now is pour our chocolate into our mixture of goodies and just give it a good mix. So chocolate up and pour it in. Who's licking the bowl today? <laughs> Me! I am definitely going to lick this bowl. All this extra chocolate that's going to be left there. <laughs> So, once you have got all your chocolate out, you can see it's on top there, we're just going to give it a big mix. Remember, if you're not doing it along with me today with the real thing, you can pretend you've got your mixing bowl in your hand and give it a good mix and say, mix, 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 mix. So let's go, mix it up, mix it up, mix, mix, mix it, mix it up. So you just want to keep scooping right down to the bottom, make sure you've got all the dry mixture from the bottom and make sure everything is covered with chocolate. Oh, a few bits more at the bottom there. And there you have it. Once it looks like that and everything's covered, you're good to go. And all you've got to do is pour it into your prepared tin. So pick up your big bowl and tip it in. So push down the mixture, so you push it into the corners, pushing it down against each other so it sticks together better and just try and flatten it out a bit so it's not in one big lump. Right out to the corners right to the edges so it will end up looking like that 
Now, you can leave it just like that, it will taste really good, but I like to put a few sprinkles on top of mine, just so it looks nice and pretty. So I'm gonna get some sprinkles and do that. Is that okay? I'm just gonna wash my hands first. So, nice and clean hands, and I've got my sprinkles. I've just got some pink, white ones in this one, and I'm just gonna shake it over the top. Oh, there's gold in there as well. Shake it, shake it, shake it. You say sprinkle, 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 sprinkles everywhere. So we have our rocky road complete, and you just need to put that in the fridge for a couple of hours until it's set. And when it's set, chop, 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 chop. I don't think you can eat that whole piece in one go, can you? <laughs> I think that would make you very poorly. But put it in the fridge, let it set, and ask a grown-up with a sharp knife to chop it into sensible pieces so you can enjoy every single bite. One big yum with me? Mm, yummy! <laughs> Thank you for joining me for Rocky Road today. At the end of the video, you will be able to see what it looks like when it's finished. See you soon! Bye!